Oh, I'm a nice TV. So, FM Royal Baby Junior, as you can see behind me, a Adomi Bridge at Impuku. Ah, I can't watch him be brave. Oh, TV so on Crawford can't watch him be brave. And you have a premoha. Yane, near Osha Habab, a church in common, or train the history. Behind this Adomi Bridge, Bridge, a by and fear him. The ten thing at the same, your whole land, Nipatiso, or beckoning in our area train. Yanni, Nipano, I am a church in common, your friend, Elam, Elam Bep Church and sign your main. You know, hi, my name is Elam Wanda. Today, I am your tour guide on the Adomi Bridge. So, once again, you are welcome to Adomi Bridge. This bridge was first constructed in 1950 to 1996 under the regime of the Lang Coast. His name is Sir Charles Noble Adam Clegg. Now, I want to take you through and tell you a bit of history more about this bridge. First of all, before the construction of the bridge, life was actually moving on well here. People live at this side and people live at the other side. But their mode of transportation across this river is by rafts, a kind of bamboos joined together. They sit on this river. Now, why do they call this bridge? Adomi Bridge. Behind this mountain, there is a village there called Adome. So in 1955, that was where the governor and his men stood to cut the sword to start the construction from Adome to Atimpoku. So the bridge was actually named after the village, Adome Bridge. But unfortunately, the white were not able to pronounce the Adome very well. They say Adome, Adome, and it later became Adomi Bridge. Now, in history, we were told this is where the former president used his aeroplane to pass under the bridge. Now, I actually watched a documentary on it, and then I saw the aeroplane. It went down, down. First, it was, it was moving as if it wanted to hit the mountain, and then it came up down. All of a sudden, it went down to under the bridge, and then came up again and was rolling in the space so uh, sometimes some 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 friends came here who were military men and then i inquired about it though i didn't find that in the documentary but i was told that uh, that was what he used to make cool to dr hila Lehman. the name of the aeroplane he used is called air maki air maki is a kind of aeroplane that is used for wars in terms of war it is used to distribute bombs arms and, uh, and arms and ammunition and then uh, it normally carries either one person or two the pilot and the co-pilot so i was told that uh, you know, he was the one who put Dr. Hila Lehman on the throne after his first coup d'etat. So he decided to overthrow him. So instead of killing him, he just took him, carried him on the in the aeroplane, and then they were moving. And all of a sudden, he began to uh, ride so rough. And then someone saw the pre, the, the aeroplane, and then uh, moved down up so that he will put fear in Dr. Hila Lehman to declare himself that he will no longer lead the country. I was told but I didn't actually read it from the documentary but you know sometimes in military they hide some of their documentary so it's not everything you'll be able to get from it now I want to talk a brief uh, briefly about this river this river we have about 130 different species of fishes in this river we have crocodile we have catfish we have one thousand we have tilapia and so on and so forth from uh, in this river if you want to watch some of them this private organization they have some of them there you can go out and then watch it from there okay the length of this bridge from here to the other side is about um about 300 and 330 meters long that's that's the length of of this bridge from here to the other side and also the bridge is a suspension bridge when we say something is a suspension bridge it means it's hanging so it's only in suspension by the support of those cables you can see 40 of them 20 here 20 at the other side too they are the ones that hold the bridge in suspension so sometimes when you see heavy trucks passing through this bridge you see that it bumps it shakes that's that's what caused the movement and now uh, mechanically when you see the top arc you realize that it has been bend or curved when a metal is uh, meant for carrying weight when it is bent it's more stronger than when it is straight the fact is that when it is straight 
when the load is too much, it rather bends. But once it's already bent towards carrying weight, it becomes more stronger. And also, when you get close to the wire, the, the cables, you, you see that they are not just a raw metal, but they are like a twisted cables, plenty cables joined together, twisted. That's why we say there's unity in one. When you put plenty brooms together, when you twist it, it becomes more elastic and more stronger. Other than when it is just one rod or just a chain, chain lock, which might not be uh, really strong. Now, sometimes before the construction, I was... Um, Okay, before then, I want to tell you briefly about this place. This is called... This place is called Expansion Joint. So when you are here, you are on the land. But when you are, when you are here, you are on the Expansion Joint. When you are here, you are on the bridge. The purpose for this place is to actually detach the bridge from the ground so that whatever happens on the ground doesn't affect the bridge and vice versa and then um, and then it also serves as a stretching joint you know metals expand and contrast in terms of heat so whenever there's so much heat the plate underneath expands whenever it's expanding um, the rubber the rubber contrast and then it comes here and when the weather is cold to the rubber also expand and fills up so actually underneath there's nothing there now i want to talk also about the island we have a number of islands here on this river this is one of the islands that we have on this river we have some fisher folks living right there on this island people are having some small small huts there and then they live on it we also have another one at this side which i was told Ekuyama Mazimbe is having her house on it right there um what else if you have some question you can ask me i'll be very glad yes people there are a number of people living there right now but they are like they are living adventure uh, adventurously yes so they have some more small hearts there and then they they live there if you can watch closely there is there is uh, someone paddling a canoe there it's one of one of one of one of them they live there so their main occupation is fish mm, and i was told that there's an mp who bought this island right thank you very much once again my name is Elon.